Now let's uh, get to that terrifying moment on the interstate. A family narrowly avoids a tragedy as they drove through Hampton. Someone started shooting, riddling their SUV with bullets. The driver of that car was grazed but managed to stop safely. All of this playing out near the Armistead Avenue exit. Tonight, that family is sharing their story with 13 News Now reporter Nico Clements. It's kind of still a blur. It's like a it's blur. still a blur. It's a night this Florida family will never forget. We are so, so lucky to be beyond here. bless, beyond bless. Kristen Roberts, his girlfriend Jamie Jackson and their four kids were in Hampton visiting family. It was late Friday night, early Saturday morning. They had just left cookout and were heading back to where they were staying when all of a sudden glass shattered in my face glass from the driver's side window. You can see here their car riddled with bullets. It happened right as Roberts got on 64 from Armistead Avenue. We could hear the gunshots and before we know it, we were <sighs> run to fire under fire and terrified. Roberts tried to shield his girlfriend and all they could do was pray with their four kids in the back seats. And the bullets kind of just circled around where we were. They literally went right around our heads and in the picture. So the circle it, we were in a bubble. God had us in a bubble. The bullet grazed Roberts in the leg, but miraculously, he was able to pull over safely. His 14-year-old son called police, the other three kids unharmed. But I kept looking back like, hey, look at mommy, say something, look at me. State police are still searching for the shooter. Tonight, as this family packs up their things and heads back south, they're counting their blessings. The trooper kept saying, like, you guys are lucky to get out, and if you want to get back in and get any personal belongings, anything, material things, I'm like, I walked away with everything I needed. They know this story. Thanking God we're still here and then living in that light. Could have had a much different ending. In Hampton, Nico Clemens, 13 News Now.